We raise the hard rock or the rock rock horns up for a man, a fallen uh, fellow. Greg Kinn has just passed away, of course, of the Greg Kinn band. And something is, I believe he was seven, he was in his 70s and he passed away. Uh, but, uh, and there, and, and it's, and, and, and I know there's a lot of people that do that because in life, that's what happens to you is you, 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 you live and then you pass away. Uh, but the reason why I wanted to do this today, we're doing Greg Ken band jeopardy is because when I heard, when I heard, um, about his passing, it, 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 it reminded me of the first one. Of, this was one of the very first videos that I saw on MTV. MTV had just launched a year or two earlier. And everywhere I seemed to go for visits when I was a kid, my grandparents, whoever it was, they had MTV and I wanted to turn it on and watch it. And uh, this is the Greg Ken Band Jeopardy. This tune, the groove, beat, and feel of this, it has a Stevie Wonder wrote it kind of a vibe. It's just a rockin' tune. And I think he fights a tinfoil monster inside of a church. But rest in peace to Greg Kinn. And we, we, sat, we, we tribute and celebrate um, the fact that I, get, I used to watch that. I mean, I'd go to my grandma's house and, and I'd turn it on. They had Cinemax. They had uh, MTV. And I'd sit there and just watch. It didn't matter if it was pop or what it was video after video after video, and this was one of them. This is the Channel Changer, takes us deep into the heart of the official video for Greg Kinn Band, and I love's in jeopardy. Right out of the gate, the tune, you start going, oh, shit. A rest in peace. Here we go. See, I wasn't lying. She's running into the, the church to be wed. Or she's running away. Yeah, there he is. He's the best man. Or he's the... Cleans up nicely, got a rose on the lapel. He's feeling good, he's gonna get married to his... Oh dear, you look so nice. Oh, mom. Get out there, son. A lot of people part of the wedding, not a lot of people there, it seems. I can't remember, is she a monster under there? Oh, he's thinking about... Not gonna get to do the fun things I like to do. Hang out in the shed. Getting cold feet, as they say. I dropped a ring at a wedding once. Oh yeah, I forgot it gets all weird. Here's the tinfoil monster. can't run away you have, you must marry that woman you got to cut the, cut off the tentacle Greg cut off the Rockin' tune! Get out of there. 
are trying to hold you back. Can't be in the Greg Kin band if you get married. Too late. Playing the old movies. Where the hands melted together, I can't. I, Mom, Dad, you drink that bottle. Where are you going, you son of a bitch? You could have told me this before you. They're gonna elope. He says, baby, it's not you, it's this. This, this is one of them videos that, uh, um, that had like a storyline to it, you know? It was like one of them early on ones, you would just see them kind of doing the song or whatever, but then they started to go, hey, if this, we're gonna make a music video, let's make one that's a storyline. What Greg Kinn was saying there, is he was saying, babe, it's not you. I'm, in, I'm deeply in love with you, okay? It has nothing to do with you, sweetheart. It has everything to do with all the production. Now, to her defense, I'd say, well, you could have told me that before my fucking daddy paid for it all. Isn't it the, 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 woman's, uh, the woman's father has to pay for the, uh, the wedding? It's like, you know, he fucking rented a church, you son of a bitch. We could have used that money, went to Vegas, and look, what say you? Get down there and tell me all you know and love about Greg Kinn and the Greg Kinn Band. We want him to rest in peace. Fantastic tune. The first time you hear it, you want to hear it again, and then it sticks in your brain for 30, 40 years, okay? Get down there and tell me all you know and love about that. Good, great, fantastic, Shane. I'm a huge fan of Greg Kinn, and believe it or not, he had a lot of good tunes that you don't know. He had a lot of great tunes, but this was seemed to be the big hit for him, but I'll give you a full biography about this man and this band. What he meant to me, how many albums did he release? Is he Canadian? Why do I want to say that? Maybe I'm wrong about that, but uh, shockingly, this has only got 1.2 million plays. I feel like it should have 100 million plays, but uh, down there and tell me that. Or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, it was too groovy, funky, and fun. And I don't like any of those things. I like angry, scary, and sad. And so, uh, don't want it, don't need it, never going to listen to it again. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know? If you've got a request, want to see it on the channel, hit those links. That's how you get a hold of me in pro incognito. Or you can put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments, see it, like it, and we haven't done it, you'll know because I'll hit it with a heart. Tell you I'm going to do your request. Hit that subscribe button in case you want to drop by again sometime. Okay? Swing it out. Greg Kinn Band.